Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Dan over here at FontSpring. I want to walk you through a real quick lesson on how to diagnose web fonts. We're going to use a web inspector or a web utility that most modern browsers uh, come with by default. I'm going to use Google Chrome only because it is automatically by default installed and enabled. First things first, I want to show you a good way to structure your, your uh, files on your website that might make it a little easier for you. Um, as you can see here, I have this folder called Fonts, and it doesn't matter how many web fonts you have, put them all in this folder along with one style sheet just for your syntax. This is really important to have the style sheet in the same folder as your fonts. That way, all you have to do is copy and paste this syntax. Put your licensing information, your syntax in here, don't change anything, put it on the same level, and then, um, and then all you have to do from there is in your source code, tell it where that style sheet is. That's all you need to do. The next thing I want to talk to you about is how to use the demo file that's included in your web font kit to help you diagnose your website. So what I've done here is I've, as you can see, this is my website, and I added this demo file. It has all the fonts and the Proxima Nova black demo.html that was included, and just uh, went ahead and published it to the to the server, and then I navigated to to that file. Here's our um, here's our folder. Click on the demo and as you can see that's working. What that tells me is that I don't have any problems with my server serving these files and I want to do this in the browser that I'm having trouble with. If, you're, if it's not opening in Internet Explorer then open this demo file in Internet Explorer and see if it's working then. If the demo file is not working then the next step would be to actually open it locally just like this. Here's, here's my local files and I can simply open it up like this, click on it, and it'll open it up and then I can verify that the demo file is actually working. Okay, so now we've created a file structure that's easy to diagnose and easy to use. It's flexible down the road if you need to expand your website. And we still have problems with our web fonts working. So um, we've uploaded our demo to the server, we opened it up there and it's working, and we opened it up locally as well on your computer and made sure that it's, that it's working there. When you open it locally, that's testing to make sure that, that your font files are actually good and that the syntax is correct. When you put it on the server, it's checking the server and making sure that the, that the server is actually able to serve your web font files for uh, whatever browser is asking for, for which particular file. So now um, we still have a website that our, our fonts won't work. So um, we're going to open this up in Google Chrome, as you can see here, and highlight the font that's supposed to be working. Right click and say Inspect Element. This opens up a, a developer tool uh, panel, and as you can see here, it automatically jumped to the element that's supposed to be working. This is your HTML, and over here is all your CSS that's supposed to be applied to that HTML. What we want to do is take a look at this, make sure that it's actually applying Proxima Nova, okay? And then um, we want to compare that to our syntax. Um, and make sure that that's correct. So we're going to open our, uh, our code editor, look at our uh, syntax style sheet, and make sure that they're exactly identical. So as long as they are, then your uh, browser can make the connection between the two. You can also do this in the, in the developer tool. Um, if you click on resources here, it's going to show you all the resources that, that, your, uh, that your browser requested and here's all your style sheets and this particular one is your syntax style sheet and you can compare it there so this makes sure that everything got downloaded properly as you can see this is working so let's go ahead and break that and I'll show you uh, how to diagnose that if it's broken if we come over here to our source code and uh, we change this so it's incorrect and we go back to uh, our Proxima Nova website and 
as you can see now it's displaying the default font for your browser <coughs> instead of Proxima Nova so let's go ahead and inspect the element here um, we make sure that it's that it's actually um, asking to be called Proxima Nova go to our resources pane and right off the bat we're gonna see here an error right there and it'll show you in a couple places down here at the bottom if uh, it'll show you here that it wasn't found in this console it says 404 not found so obviously it didn't download any fonts because it couldn't even download the style sheet that was gonna request the fonts. so we need to go back and fix that figure out why it, it uh, couldn't find the style sheet um, resources fonts slash style sheet dot CSS so this little forward slash is saying go to the root of the server go to resources fonts style sheet and um, as we talked about before these are going to be relative to the style sheet so you don't need to do any editing there and if we jump back here now our fonts still do not work forgot to save it common mistake there we go and then the other problem that we see often is uh, let's say that we think that this is going to be uh, not relative to the style sheet I see this quite a bit and another one that we see is when uh, people put full URLs just like this this will work in some browsers and will not work in at least Firefox and, and some other browsers so make sure that you're not using full URLs and uh, we'll take this back out so now what we're gonna see in Web Inspector of course our website no longer works and inspect element jump over here to resources well now it could find our style sheet okay but the style sheet can't find the fonts um, so obviously we have errors next to our fonts um, if you have a server problem this is where you would see it as well it would not be able to serve these fonts you would get an error and if you look here you can see where the where the problem is it's it's telling it to go to resources fonts and then resources fonts again because again those those fonts were relative to the style sheet so your browser is looking in the wrong place um, they don't exist there so we can jump back and fix that didn't delete enough so we got that fixed refresh the page and as you can see it's working again just to recap a little bit here um, highlight the font that's not working inspect element and you're gonna wanna look at this make sure that it matches whatever's in your style sheet make sure there's no errors make sure there's no errors here and um, if, uh, if you can't find the problem Go ahead and give us a shout over here at, at support at fontspring.com and uh, we'll help you get to the bottom of it.